If you've been using ChatGPT Canvas to create long form content and noticed that eventually you hit a word count limit in each instance of Canvas that you have open, then this video is for you. So just to help with clarity, what I'm talking about here is in the long form content, when you're using ChatGPT Canvas, you're telling it to do something and then it'll open up what I consider to be a dialogue box, a prompt box, whatever you want to call it. But inside of this, you have a text limit, right? And so when you go through and you're using these tools over here to edit or change your document, eventually you're going to hit a word limit down here. And what's going to happen is instead of continuing to generate new content, ChatGPT, it's just going to start refreshing this stuff up here and just following its original instructions over and over. or it will erase all of this and then put in the follow-up content you asked it to do. And then when you go back, you've lost your original work. So we're going to go over a prompt refinement here to hopefully prevent it from doing that to begin with. So really quickly, I've been using ChatGPT to work on longer form content. And I produced a video a few days back about how to use ChatGPT Canvas in general. So be sure to check that out if you hadn't seen it. But what I noticed was as I was working with longer and longer content that the dialogue box, for lack of a better word, of ChatGPT Canvas would basically hit a word count limit. And then instead of continuing to add new content per my instructions, or in some cases it would go back and refresh, but then try to put the follow-up content while er erasing the original stuff. So I had to work with it a little bit, but I think I have found a solution and I wanted to share that with y'all today. What I have here is I have ChatGPT acting as a consultant to help me write a comprehensive creative writing manual. And I've given it some relevant background material uh, to help generate some additional context. I want it to write at a graduate level because what I'm hoping for is that I can get really good content to work with and minimize the amount of editing tools that I have to use in each instance of Canvas. So what I've directed it to do is it's going to go through and work with me chapter by chapter, and I've asked it to open a new instance of ChatGPT Canvas every time we hit a new chapter. So if it works like I want it to, I'm going to get an outline, I'm going to tell it to proceed to chapter one, and what it'll do is it'll open up a new instance of ChatGPT Canvas and we'll work on chapter one, finalize it, and then it'll go to chapter two with a new instance of Canvas. And by doing that, I'll eventually be able to put together an entire manual without losing any content along the way. So let's get going. All right, so it's going through and it's making my outline. Everything's looking good so far. I'm going to go on and approve it for time's sake and tell it to go to chapter one so we can see if it actually follows my instructions. Yes, we got chapter one right here and I haven't lost the outline that it generated before. I will double check here in just a minute. All right, so really quickly, let's see. All right, there's my outline. Great. I haven't lost it. It's there. I'm here in chapter one with a new instance and we can do what we need to do. All right, now for the real test. All right, boom. Now we're in chapter two. We've got a new instance of ChatGPT Canvas, and we can go on and continue to make our edits. So other creators can certainly chime in and add anything that they'd like to add. But in theory, breaking this thing down into chunks seems to be the way to go. It makes sure that you don't lose your content and you're able to remain productive with ChatGPT Canvas. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.